noticed that dark academia is trending. And when I noticed that, I also noticed that I accidentally have a dark academia room in my own house. I am in my husband's study. I painted this room for him a couple of years ago as a gift, uh, colors that he requested. And I realized that his study is dark academia, but just what is dark academia? Well, I thought I would take you on a tour around this room. It's one I haven't showed much on my channel. And we could just use what's in here to talk about what our academia, dark academia is. And if you like that look, how you could get it in your own house or just bring in a few elements. What is it? First of all, it's, it's a look that comes from, think like Hogwarts, Harry Potter, the dining hall, um, think Agatha Christie novels, uh, so upper class English country house type of thing with a really dark moody feel. Sherlock Holmes as well, uh, Gothic architecture, think of like an old European library and anything that you might find in there. A color palette would be like in this room, I've got a color called lounge green on the walls and the, sh the trim is in Rookwood shutter green. So this really dark moody green that has a little bit of blue in it. And then on the ceiling, we the, we've got this crown molding and it's painted in this gold paint. So beyond the paint colors, you wanna be looking at lots and lots of layers. So tons of pictures on the walls. We've got uh, several gallery walls in here and we're always trying to add more pictures and more interest. Uh, lots of textures, like in this room, there's tons of molding. There's this beautiful crown molding up on the ceiling and then there's lots and lots of millwork, these really deep baseboards, really fat, thick trim. Of course, this, it, it is from the 19th century when it was built, so it works really, really well and then painted in this really moody green. It just kind of whoop, brings it all together. Also, uh, rugs on the floor, um, velvet or corduroy furniture. We have this, uh, it's like a, it's a velvet covered settee that we got off Facebook Marketplace and it's really worn out and comfy and it just works so well for that dark academia look. Also leather furniture. Here's a couple of club chairs we have. It's very worn out leather from Target circa 2000 or so. But um, any kind of leather furniture of course is perfect for this look as well. It's kind of like English men's club I think is another dark academia English men's club having a mantelpiece is great we this room is like the perfect backdrop for this I can't claim no credit but it has this beautiful dark wood mantelpiece and then it has a mirror as well which really brightens it up with all the there's a lot of dark colors in here but then the mirror like bounces light around so we luckily had the mirror already in the mantelpiece you could hang some mirrors too to sort of lighten things up a little bit um, glass fronted cabinets like those attorneys bookcases we have this secretary that isn't this beautiful dark wood and then it's full of my husband's National Geographic so it looks really cool with like the yellow and then the dark wood and it's very English like you know British explorers and old books we have some on the windowsill here just as a little it's not, they're things my husband actually uses, but they also work well, really well as decor. Or if you could get an old set of encyclopedias, they can look really great too with all the gold lettering on the spines and all of that. Taxidermied animals would be a great addition to this look. We don't have that, but we do have Texas Longhorns, which I think add to that. Low hanging chandeliers add to this look, this elaborate. We had this one that came with the house. It was probably put in the house when they electrified it in the 20s or 30s, from what I can figure out. So think of doing a low hanging, interesting light fixture. And then any kind of trophies or little statues or busts to add more interest and texture as well. Lamps, uh, brass lamps would be great for this look. 
So those are the basic elements of dark academia. Please tell me what you think of this style in the comments below. I personally love it, but I don't think I would use it all the time. I kind of like it just in this one room of my house. Let me know what elements you'd incorporate in your spaces in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Thank you.